Well, okay, Kathy, here it is. Tour of the station. Recording and game playing. Starting off, I suppose, with the television. All hooked in to watch videos and look at the computer and whatnot. And nicely on wheels, the local music shop threw away, including this carpet here. Moving on, organ corner. One of my basic 70s organs, when those cocktail LPs were all the rage. And these lovely 90s keyboards, old enough now to discern period sounds from them. With especially the Technics here, playing far better than I ever expected on my Prophet Muhammad video. Those Indian instrument sounds seem so real. And another bunch of stuff all hooked into the network to hook in and play any old time. Down here is the zither, and also wall dark, the connection letting me plug my bass in and whatnot, for a lovely organ rich sound. And up here the CDs, mostly Beatles, many bootlegs, LP records, and some lovely laser discs, including the Beatles anthology. I love how Laserdisc was DVD before DVD was affordable. So there was this massive technology I grew up with, completely oblivious. And now I'm collecting stuff, here it all is. This was the last I saw. Executive decision with Kurt Russell. Featuring Islamic extremists hijacking an airplane. Very shades of Flight 103. Only here, the heroes were the professionals. Well, moving along, the record player, capable of 78 play. I don't know why manufacturers chose the disco decks to do it, but there we go. Retro computer, used for many musical tasks on the fly. The cello, and a bunch of other stuff you can see for yourself there. And I am proud of modern retro gaming. Especially these music titles for the PS2, which can be picked up for peanuts. I see these as interactive album experiences, having grown up in the 90s when everything was interactive and multimedia. Nice case on the videotapes. I wanted to kind of recreate a music shop experience. As far as I'm capable, I probably have. Controls for the home recording studio. Piano for some tinkles. And of course some heavy duty rocking. Well, I actually like this keyboard here. This pedal's something of a classic of its type from the 90s. It was affordable and all the kids had it, but it's got so many sounds and simulations in it that even today I feel I need very few extra pedals and bits of software to complement it. It's certainly finally broken me into guitar all these years. Baby drum set there. And of course the big fellas under the sheet. I'm going to have to make other videos for you. There's just too much here to take in in one go. And looking at all the gubbins myself, I can't believe it. But I can show you the Hammond organ with extra controls. Nice harp, which actually sounds rather Japanese, which I think I played you and more videos and CDs. I've also my freebie guitars, also thrown away by the music shop. Extra controls for the home network. And the Busilaccio electric harmonium. Oh, it's alive. <laughs> Actually, I still need to use that for something, but at least I've done this. The harmonium. The Beatles used one of these on We Can Work It Out. And it is very nice. With so many good sample packs emulating these things superbly, I've maybe gone a bit overboard looking back, but I didn't know. And mixing and matching the sounds with the Bustolaccio, mouth organ and accordion, I get a really good blend of sounds that I have done very well testing. I've also got plenty more of these. I'll never play all these now. 
especially with the jukebox games I'm still enjoying. But with each costing less than a packet of butter each now, I just couldn't resist. And at least for the first time in my life, I have a selection. I can sort the wheat from the chaff and still have a huge pile of great stuff left. That's how I got so jaded with games in the late 90s. I didn't have very many, and the core of that was mostly crap. And I'm not going to be jaded anymore, especially with the studio software. After leaving them long enough to tell, there is such a thing as classic software. Keeping many of my own for 15 years, and recently buying a hold all full of other equally old discs, I do find there is a good blend of period sounds and ones just plain old. They do actually complement very well the latest stuff. I'm so proud of all of this. And yeah, we haven't reached the cockpit yet. Here's the bass. The electronic guitar, which can be used to play so many of these samples and outboard instruments. Plus the storage cupboard, which has to have a lot of stuff tetris into it. Well, I've got to put all my fun somewhere, I suppose. Plenty of video recorders. It'll be a dry drought without them. Plus this, when I was crazy about making DVDs over a decade back, I've actually reverted to VHS. It's far more convenient. Yeah, yeah, back to these, yeah, yeah, very proud. Plus these Wii games I've now got to find some room for. Especially being able to play Guitar Hero World Tour with its own recording sequencer built in. Though I think also I have a pretty nice taste in music to listen to. Standard stuff in the pop world like Led Zeppelin and The Stranglers and various other 60s and 70s stuff. But I also like a lot of the organ concertos and whatnot. I think it's also helped me compose. Oh, and plenty of music videos. I think also a relic of my growing up in the 80s and 90s when such things were really pushed. Although in here, it does get ridiculous. There is another storage cupboard out there, but I think this is enough to be going along with, isn't it? But here we are, the bunker. There are gonna to have to be plenty of other videos. Just to get beyond the tip of the iceberg here. But there's an awful lot. I'm astounded I collected all of this myself, but I do have a full complement of retro gear for all I want to do. Chiefly recording. I'm going to have to give you another video under the cloth. There's a complement of open reel tape recorders, computers, effects boxes, mixers. And though there's not much street value in any of this, that still impresses me too. All this fabulous quality and already so old hat that nobody else wants it. But take these video recorders. They don't look much, but they give by far the highest quality performance I've ever seen from a VHS. And a dot matrix printer. I hate the inkjets. Buy a modern inkjet and the inkwells run dry within a month, regardless how often you use it. A laser display. Paul McCartney controller looking a little battered, but I've got spares of everything, never mind. Plus this rather crappy Yamaha drum box. But it can play other instruments and contain some fantastic sounds of its own. Re other retro computers. Another PC. Even second-hand junk power ones can deliver such fantastic performance in recording, sharing the workload. Commodore 64's up there, classic Casio music box, ancient laptop for Super Nintendo data serving, and there's the equipment, Sega Mega Drive, Genesis in America, more of my fantastic games, Commodore stuff, and music keyboard. This is actually a centrepiece of the cockpit, and where I do get a great majority of my old style synth sounds from.
yeah. I'm going to have to do unboxing videos if you really want to see them all. I've got all sorts of guitars in there, ones I've modified as well. Although just some of my video collection over the last more than 25 years, I suppose goes to help explain how I can be so fanatical over VHS. I wonder if I will actually get around to selling it when I'm an old man. Although it's a special feature, or something I just forgot to do, I don't see why I should skip over the video CD. This was multimedia getting ahead of itself in the 90s. Wanted to get a taste of that lucrative video disc market, but not making it affordable with a quality only barely better than VHS. People weren't going to buy it. But it did see a niche at the end of the 90s with the karaoke machines. That only lasted a couple of years though. Then DVD really overtook. But all the same, I enjoyed collecting them when they were remaindered. I also made my own for a while. And many DVD players still run them. So interesting ladder of quality then. DVD and just a hair under that, laser disc. Just a hair under that, VHS, or at least those other ones. And of course, bottom of the pile video CD.